So I bought a $400 pen and what's so special about this pen? Let's find out in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. If you have watched my previous video, we have already unboxed the Hover Pen 2.0. And in this video, I'm going to show you why this pen is worth $400. If you haven't watched my previous video, please go and check it out after this video, not right now. In this video, we are going to see why this hover pen is so special. If you look at this box, this box looks like a premium, probably jewelry box. It doesn't look like a pen box. So we have already unboxed it in our previous video, so I'm not going to waste any time in unboxing it. But I want to focus here. So it says Hoverpoint 2.0 Interstellar Edition Meteoroid Embedded Version 18K Gold Plated Ballpoint Pen. So when you open the box, it says To the unique ones, just like you, we enjoy and embrace the unknown and uncertainty. Here is a unique Hoverpoint 2 with a meteorite embedded. We hope it to be with you when you explore the road of infinite possibilities. So when you open this box, this is what you see. So this is the pen and it has a very unique design. So I'm not sure about if this ring over here is 18 karat gold plated. You have a pincer over here. This is the pincer, which is stainless steel, a pedestal, which is actually zinc alloy. So let's talk about this pen a little bit. So this pen has a aluminum and brass body. So, and this is not just some aluminum that you actually found in your kitchen, like on a foil or something. This is a aircraft grade aluminum. So it, it's like a premium aluminum. And this cap is also magnetic. So the pen has like a really premium feeling to it. It's very hard to describe, but it feels really good. It does say somewhere like it's, it has the satin finish kind of feel and I could feel it. There is a refill, which is so small, but it is. This is an extra one. And I'm not sure what this is. Maybe like a Frisbee kind of thing, just for, just like a toy. And you also have a certificate of authenticity. This is how point 2.0 interstellar edition novium 1370 and the name of the mineral is or the meteorite is myono neolusta very difficult to print house discovery date 1906 wow it's, it's very old and country is sweden did pewdiepie discovered this oh my god so it has this qr code which is actually a qr report check so you can scan this qr code and it will tell you that this is authentic mineral they have actually obtained this from the um, imca which is the international meteoroid collectors association this meteoroid was discovered in 1906 that doesn't mean that's how old the mineral is the meteoroid could be like really old that's the authenticity certificate in case you had any doubts let's set this up so their tagline is feel the piece of cosmic history in the palm of your hand so i'm actually touching a piece of meteorite like i don't know where this piece must have been like in space so i'm actually touching a piece of space that is so cool and i think that's the usb of this pen like and this is the this is the mineral that was found on that meteorite, which is called Myonian Lusta something. <laughs> it's a very difficult name. I, I don't understand why they have like those, that kind of difficult name that is so difficult to pronounce. Why do they always find the difficult, the most difficult word? They could just name it like mini or something or min or something. This is the pedestal, which is going to create a magnetic field and uh, this pen is supposed to make a 23.5 degree angle just like that there you go this is like a centerpiece this is like a conversation starter like for example you walk into an office and this is sitting there and you're like oh my god this is so cool what is this thing this is that kind of thing you know so this is actually defying gravity because it's not falling on the table this is literally at some angle I'm not sure if this is 23.5 degree angle. It doesn't look like it. More looks like 
I don't know, 45 degree or something. But yeah, they say it is 23.5. So I'll take their word for it. They also say like because of the design, because you know, if you can see the design of this pen is like that, if you spin it, it's because of the kinetic motion, it's gonna spin up to like 20 seconds or something. Doesn't look like 20 seconds, but they say it spins for like up to 20 seconds. You know what, this reminds me of those old pen holders. If you have been to any government office or like a bank and uh, if you go to someone's desk, probably not here, but like in India, um, they have those holders, which looks exactly like this, but they have like place to kind of hold the pen and you actually put it like this. This is actually doing the same thing. It's just, it looks cool because it's defying gravity. If you want to change the refill, you have to use this like use this ring so you hold it like this and pull it like pull it up like this you know you probably need some force but yeah that's what it is for so let's see if this actually writes like a normal pen and how does it feel to write using this pen All right, it does. So nothing um, unusual about the way it writes. Um, it's pretty basic, actually. Uh, feels premium in your hand for sure, but yeah, my handwriting sucks, so uh, it didn't it didn't improve my handwriting. I hope they could do that. <laughs> but I think yeah, it writes as I mean, it's doing its basic job. That's why it was invented, right? Apart from being the centerpiece on your table, it was supposed to write as well so that you can use it for your everyday work. So let's see what else they have to say about this $400 pen. All right, so we are on the Amazon page of the Novium Hover Pen. So it's still $400 and there is a $30 coupon. So you have different options. You can get it for 80K gold plated, a basic one and a meteorite embedded. This one is the meteorite one, that's why it's so expensive. The coolest, eye-catching centerpiece, cosmic inspired and engineered to defy gravity. So yeah, check that. We definitely agree with that. Uh, this is definitely a centerpiece uh, on your table. And this definitely defy gravity. Premium futuristic design, no power necessary, crafted with aircraft grade aluminum and enduring zinc alloy and yeah we agree i mean like i said it's not some cheap aluminium you find in your kitchen this is actually the one that you find on an aircraft it takes 103 meticulous processes to construct the hover pen the pen body shaped with the unibody design i don't know what that means uh highly precise craftsmanship blah 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 expect your luxury pen to last and hover for up to 100 years what Who's gonna be alive for 100 years? Probably some people. Provoke curiosity, uh, definitely agree with that. Spin the pen on the pedestal and let it boost your focus and creativity. Okay, uh, precision flow ink. Hmm. Equipped with Schmidt ballpoint cartridges, the German engineered luxury standard ballpoint refill. I mean, it didn't. Hmm. No spills, no spotting, and definitely no explosions. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it didn't feel very premium while I was writing, like, but okay. I take their word for it. And then it says, a standard decor and gift. Reward yourself for a job well done and check out your work area with this futuristic freestanding reward winning pen or gift it to the best boss in the world who already has everything. So this is basically like, Give it to someone who already has everything. You can give, gift it to them, but uh, make sure that you can afford it to be able to gift it to other person who already has everything, you know? Don't just do what I did. <laughs> Over here it says, inspired by spacecraft, sci-fi, and all things cosmos. Oh, I love that. So, how Pen 2.0 was designed to function and to impress highly precise craftsmanship, blah, 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 23.5 degree angle. Okay, yeah. So about 23.5 degree angle. I wanted to do that test. 
this is how it stands right now let's assume so this is 90 degree right if you measure it like this is 90 degree and 23.5 is approximately like one fourth of 90 degree i mean it's 22.5 but let's assume it's one fourth it doesn't look like it's one fourth it looks like it's like 45 degree angle so i'm not sure why they keep saying 23.5 like how they are measuring unless i'm missing something i i don't get it are they measuring it like this even like this uh, how are, how are they measuring uh, i'm i don't get it please comment down below if you understand how it is making 23.5 degree angle because i don't get it so i don't agree with that 23.5 degree angle so cross so kinetic motion yeah there's another thing so if you spin this it it can spin up to 20 seconds and if you really count it it's not really spinning up to 20 seconds i don't know how much force i have to put but if i do like let's try it okay roughly seven eight seconds if i do it like with force yeah that's what happens I don't think so it's spinning like up to 20 seconds if you have this pen let me know if it spins up to 20 seconds this is maximum going to like 10 seconds but not more than that so kinetic motion yes it does spin but not up to 20 seconds enhanced creativity precision flowing ink refill waterproof this pen is also waterproof so okay are most pens are okay maybe i don't know never tried that so magnetic cap so even the cap is magnetic yeah and uh, the pen everyone deserves so yeah if you want to feel premium and want to have something fancy on your desk then you should definitely go for it so yeah that was like your 400 dollars pen guys there you have it